Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center, and time for another Nature to Go. On these hot summer days, it's really nice to be able to find a shady spot where you can go and relax outdoors, but not get overheated. If you're a plant, these trees and bushes, they have big, wide leaves. They're able to take in the sunlight. They do their photosynthesis thing. They also provide shade. But when you're out on the prairie, it's a whole different story. And so the leaves are very different too. And that's what we're gonna look at this week on Nature to Go. So prairie plants have to do something different than the plants that we see growing in the woods. They're overwhelmed by sunlight. So they're going to have to reduce the amount of sunlight that they're getting and doing it in a way that still lets them do the photosynthesis, but without drying out. So prairie plants are gonna use a very different strategy than plants that we find in the woods. They don't want big leaves. They still need to be able to photosynthesize, but they don't want all that surface area where they could lose moisture. So they have lots of little leaves. I mean, look at these plants behind me. This one with the yellow flower, this is called partridge pea. And there's just tons and tons of little leaflets. Anise hyssop does this. So does milkweed. So does blazing star. All of these plants, they have thin leaves, lots of them that go up and down the stem. And that allows them to photosynthesize, but it reduces the amount of moisture that they lose through transpiration, where water is leaving the plant. Another strategy that these plants will use is that many of them will have hairs on the stem. And those tiny little hairs help to trap moisture and hold it there for the plant. Another strategy is if you have a big leaf, don't have it be solid. Look at this leaf from a compass plant. Lots of notches in there. The other thing that compass plant leaf does that's really interesting is it stands up on edge between north and south so that the sides are exposed to sunrise and sunset. But during the day, as the sun is traveling across the southern sky, that it's on edge, so it's not getting full sunlight. And that helps to keep the plant from losing too much moisture. And it's not just prairie flowers, the forbs, that use this strategy of thin leaves. The prairie grasses do it too, like big blue stem, and this one is called Indian grass. All of them, side oats grandma, porcupine grass, prairie drop seed, you'll recognize them as prairie grasses because of their long, thin leaves. So grab some sunscreen and head out to the prairie and check out the leaves on these different kinds of prairie plants and the wonderful way they're adapted to being in a hot environment but still able to survive and not lose the moisture they need. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go, and we'll talk to you again next time. Bye.